So we're gonna dig a hole in here. We've got our scanner temporarily right here. And if you're curious how this is going inside the house, you can follow the USB cable there, running into that amazing Tupperware tray right there, which then goes in through the cable inlet right there. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dig a hole for this thing to sit in. This piece of paper, which is gonna serve a couple purposes. purposes. One, it's gonna let us know if we're wide enough. That looks almost wide enough. Or it's also gonna double as a little protective shield for the glass platter as we put it down, or as we put the scanner back in the ground. And we'll leave a little bit of dirt there at the very bottom. So that looks to be about a eight to 10 inch deep hole. Temporarily just put this in there. Yeah, it looks good. So before I actually bury the scanner, I'm gonna take a towel, thermomic alcohol, and I'm just gonna use that to clean off the cover of the scanner, the glass platter of the scanner really quick. We have our scanner here. It's already plugged in back there. I'm gonna have that coming out the top side. I've just got this sheet of paper. I'm gonna put this over the front of the scanner. That way when I lower it down, we're not gonna smear anything on the, the glass platter. Lower this down in. One crucial thing before we actually bury this all the way, we're gonna double check and make sure the scanner works still. Seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and keep on filling this up. And go ahead and run the scanner script again. That looks pretty good. It's basically just a white blob right now. With some spotty marks. So the scanner's only actually about halfway buried. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some extra detritus because I'm kind of curious to see how you know, everything slowly starts to decompose. I'm just gonna slowly raise this up and out as I oh look at that. So if you're using paper, beware. You lost the bottom half. 